Hey, welcome back, Paul Casper here. And now that we've got a good handle on how to actually convert artwork to symbols, where symbols live, and how to get them onto your stage for animation, um, we're just gonna go ahead and use our aquarium illustration that we did earlier. And we're going to convert um, the pieces of this fish into symbols. Again, this can be pretty, um, pretty easily done because we've already um, set this up where our different objects are in separate layers that we want to control and we did that on purpose because we knew that we wanted to control these pl these things individually so um, for the mountains I'm going to just unlock that layer I'm going to select the mountain object as you see there and again converting to symbols is as simple as selecting your artwork I'm going to modify convert to symbol going to give it the in the uh, name actually of mountains underscore MC again I'm going to give it a movie clip and I'm using movie clip um, because I know that these aren't going to be interactive they may or may not animate but if I did want to do any kind of 3d stuff um, or anything of that nature remember symbol instances actually have a lot more properties we can change than just base artwork so I'm just gonna um, set it up here as long as I'm in here for flexibility reasons I'm going to click OK, and of course when we look then um, over in our library we now have a movie clip of the mountains. I'm going to relock the mountains layer, and I'm going to unlock the coral layer. Now notice I've got all of my layers locked, and I just unlock the one I, I want to work on. That is so that if, say, I had them all unlocked, um, I would have to like select one object, hold shift, select the next one, and try to make sure that... I could grab everything. I find it easier to have everything locked in the layer I want to work with, unlock it and just hit the quick key of command A and that just selects all on that layer. So by hitting command A with just that layer unlocked I get everything on that layer. Um, if I had a different layer unlocked such as the fish and I hit command A then I would get everything at all. So again I'm just going to lock everything except for the coral, hit command A and on that coral I'm going to go to modify convert to symbol I'll just call this coral underscore MC click OK keep that a movie clip lock the coral layer go to the sand unlock it hit command A go modify convert to symbol you get the hint here sand underscore MC keep it a movie clip Again, the underscore MC um, is just good practice, as well as camel case if we had two words. So, um, again, though, since we're not actually controlling this through Action Script yet, um, we don't have to worry about the instance name. If I did have to worry about an instance name, I would use the same name, most likely, from the library if I could, and put it up there. So, I'm going to relock the sand layer, and just um, to keep it easy, I'm going to um, unlock the tank layer, hit command A with the tank, modify convert to symbol, call that tank underscore MC movie clip, click OK, lock that, and then I'm going to unlock the fish folder and get all the pieces in there. Now again we separated this object, the fish, into all kinds of different pieces because we wanted all of those pieces to animate individually. So we did this for a reason. We are going to then, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to lock the fish um, folder icon and then for the eyes I'm going to unlock that so I can also hit command A to make sure that I get all the eyes selected because I want both eyes to be part of um, the eyes movie clip. Modify, convert to symbol, eyes underscore MC click OK, lock eyes, unlike top fins, select top fin, modify, convert to symbol, or not, select top fin, which is a drawing object, modify, convert to symbol, there we go, top fin, notice I've got two words, so I'm using camel case, underscore MC, Click OK, lock the top fin, go to the mouth, 
I could hit Command A to select the whole mouth or select those objects individually. Modify, convert to symbol. Mouth underscore MC. And notice that this does get a little tedious, but it is well worth the effort. It's not as tedious as trying to um, go ahead and animate this frame by frame and make modifications later. Trust me on that, and we'll see why in the next lesson. So unlock body, hit Command A to select um, body, modify, convert to symbol. I'm just going to call this body. Click OK. And then I've got the right fin and the left fin. Command A on the right fin, one object, so that's easy. Modify, convert to symbol. Maybe I'll just call this right fin underscore MC. Got to unlock left fin, select left fin, modify, convert to symbol, left fin underscore MC, and last but not least, whoops, unlock the tail layer, select that tail, modify, convert to symbol, tail underscore MC, move the clip, OK. Also notice in the modify, you can um, click the F8 key to convert to the symbol. That's another quick way you can do it. Um, you could also, what do we have unlocked here? The tail. Um, I think there's somewhere in here, I believe there's a convert to symbol. Yes, down here at the bottom. You can right click on an object and choose it from there as well. So by the end of this now, basically I've got all of my artwork converted to a symbol. Each piece that I want to control individually is also converted, um, which leads me to a good point. Remember, inside of every um, symbol, you can double click to get into symbol isolation mode. So I'm going to actually take the eyes. I'm going to double click to get into symbol isolation mode of the eyes. And again, notice we've got separate layers for the symbol. I'm going to call the first layer left eye and I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this one right eye and click OK. And I actually need to get the artwork from the uh, left eye layer, this piece of artwork here, and I need to get, get it onto the right eye layer. So I'm just going to select the right eye. You notice this is a group right now and I'm going to hit Command X to cut it. Then I need to select the first blank keyframe here in the right eye. Go to Edit, Paste in Place to put it in the exact same spot. And now I've got a layer with left eye and a layer with right eye. So I can go ahead and convert these into separate pieces so I can control them individually if I want my fish to blink again. Um, kind of like what we did in the keyframe based animation. So I'm just going to take that left eye, modify, convert that to a symbol. So we'll call this left eye using camel case, underscore MC. Select this one, modify, convert to symbol. I call this one right eye, underscore MC. Click OK. And now we've got our different. Um, eyes that we can control individually inside of the eyes movie clip we've got two movie clips here so I'm going to double click to get out to the main timeline and again that was within the eyes movie clip within the eyes movie clip I've got two other ones here as well take a look over at your library panel and check out um, what's starting to happen here we are going to get more and more movie clips in our animations and notice how each is of course saved separately. So what I might do is create a folder over here in the library, call one background stuff, very technical term, and I'm going to select the mountains underscore movie clip here. So that's kind of my background and I'm going to select the tank and I'm going to hold the command key to select those two and what else?
Command key, I'm going to select the sand. And Command key, I'm going to select the coral. Click and drag, and drop those in the background. So now I've got these four pieces of artwork in the background folder. I'm going to create a new folder for fish because I like to stay organized over here. I'm going to hold shift to select both of those, then my command key to select all the rest, and move those into the fish folder. Again, this library here is only for organization and reusing your objects. Okay? Um, what I don't want you to do is to think that because you moved stuff around in these folders that is actually affecting how it looks in the timeline because it's not. The library is just used for organization and if I knew, wanted to um, take more pieces and add them to my fish I know I can come over here and just grab these symbols and add another instance if I wanted to somewhere else which I don't want to at this point but I could if I wanted to and I know exactly where to look. So simple um, artwork like this is not that big of a deal but once you get into more complex projects, you definitely want to try to make sure that this library stays clean and manageable for sure. Also over, over here in the library, notice you can, um, there's a little search icon so I can search for eyes and I can limit my query just to the eyes. Now I know these are all movie clips. I've got left, right, and both. So that's yeah, something kind of fun. Delete that and text here and now I get my entire list of stuff. Good stuff. All right, last but not least, we've got all of these fish movie clips over here, right, all in their own layer. But we want to do one more thing. So I'm going to actually, everything's locked. I just want to make sure I can select my all my fish movie clips. And I'm going to hit the Command A. And notice how all of our fish parts are selected. Then I'm going to modify and convert all of these movie clips that I already have into one giant movie clip. So I'm going to modify and convert all these existing symbols into one giant symbol. Convert to symbol, and I'm going to call this symbol fish underscore MC because it's the entire thing, and click OK. Look at now how this is treated as one element, right? Notice how all of our beautifully named layers now no longer have a keyframe saying, hey, there's art there. They are all um, blank, which is kind of a bummer. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete all these blank keyframes that I no longer need. I'm going to select those layers by holding shift and clicking to select them all. I'm going to hit the trash can. And I'm going to basically rename eyes to fish because now it's a fish, it's not just the eyes. Then I'm going to um, take that fish layer, pull it outside of the fish folder, and trash the fish folder itself. So basically now we've got our artwork broken into five pieces, mountains, coral, sand, fish, and tank. Again, if we want to get those pieces of the fish to control individually, I'm going to unlock that fish layer, treat it as one big piece, but when I double click to get in isolation mode, notice that when I hit Command A, all the pieces are still there. A little trick that you can do when you've got symbols and you convert those symbols into a master symbol, you can right click and you can choose distribute to layers. When you distribute to layers, because you already had symbols, they are then giving a layer with the name. Notice the name is that that's exactly what you named that file when you did the conversion. So another good reason to name the stuff um, so it makes sense and so it's organized so that you can simply right click and distribute versus have to make a new layer, copy, paste, and place, and name it and all that good stuff. So I'm going to trash layer one, and in my eyes, or I'm sorry, within my fish movie clip, I've got all the different parts to control individually, and we are going to do that in the next lesson. We're actually going to do something called motion tweening to add animation to our fish. I'm going to double click to get outside of isolation mode of the fish and of course right what we know about symbols is they're reusable so we can add more instances I'm just gonna grab this fish movie clip drag another instance of it on my stage and I'm going to take this one use my scale tool 
make it a little bit smaller, hold shift, put that one in the background a little bit, and again it's just an instance, so any changes we make to the base art of that symbol is going to be made on the little one as well, but we can just add a little bit of variety. Put another one over here just for fun. Again, transform tool, make it a little bit smaller, maybe do a medium one down here. But because this is a, an instance, both of these, we can maybe darken them up a little bit. So I'm just going to select the small one, maybe go over to the color effects and just see what I can do. Alpha, remember, in flash is transparency. So maybe I'm just going to can make that one a little more transparent that's not very fun because you can start to see the tail through it so we're not going to do that but maybe we can change the brightness and we can just darken the whole thing up a little bit because it's further back so just like the coral got a little bit darker the further away it got um, let's do the same with our color effect and turn the brightness down of our friendly fish and make sure that the focus is on our main subject here so we're filling up our fish tank little by little and again because this big fish was a symbol we could just drag in more instances to our stage rather than have to redraw each one. So um, go ahead and do this with the fish that you drew on your own as well and prepare for motion tweening during the next lesson. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.